Hey, what's going on miners? Today we're going to be talking about HiveOS and security and we're just going to get right into this video. It's going to be nice, short and sweet. So I don't know if anybody re remembers what happened to Brandon Coin. Um, maybe about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer. Um, he had a hack that sort of compromised his systems. And one of the main vulnerabilities that he had in his system was that all of his user rigs, he left the default password in the rigs as user and one. So that is a huge, huge mistake. Do not leave it as user and one. If you're gonna at least leave the username, at least make a very strong password. Because the issue is, is some people think that every rig is, is is its own individual machine, but that's not true. If all of these machines are on the same land, right, in the same subnet, they can essentially, he could reverse SSH into all of these rigs. I'll leave a link up here to Brandon's video and you guys could check it out and see what happened to him. But essentially what happened was, is, is he was mining to Ethermine or wherever he was mining to, the, the flight sheets said exactly that, but he was not getting any hash rate registered on the pool. What had happened is, is they had done stuff in the back end of Hive to where it was actually mining to the own hacker's wallet. So even though his flight sheet said otherwise, he was actually mining to somebody else's wallet for who knows how long, right? So this is something that happened a lot during the bull run. We need to prepare ourselves right now because right now is the bear market. And obviously everybody's not really looking at crypto right now, but it's a good time to do these sorts of projects and learn about these things during our downtime. So let's go, this is gonna be really simple. It's super, super easy, but this is just to keep us secure, right? So let's go head over to one of my rigs. Okay, so we're over here at HiveOS and this is my test bench. And you could either get here via the IP address if you're on the same land as the, as the rig itself, or you can um, obviously use the Hive Shell Start. Now, the only difference between the Hive Shell Start and this is this is not going to prompt you for a password. So we're gonna click on the address right here, right? And I left this on purpose to just, I'm, I'm, I put it back to the way it was so everybody can see this. If you click on this IP address to, to log into this machine, essentially, if you were gonna reverse SSH or log in directly like I am, it would look like this. You do user and then one. And that, oh, now we're in. Now we could do whatever we want on this rig. And this is Linux. So um, people can really change things around. So the command that we're going to be using is, is password or pass WD user. I'm gonna hit enter and we're gonna change our password and we're going to make it something pretty strong, right? And there you have it. So now we've successfully changed the password. So let's come, let's come back in here. And I always like to check this too, just to make sure things work. You know what I mean? I'm sure it does. We're going to refresh the page. Make sure it reloads back up. We're going to click on this again. We're going to type user and I'm going to hit one. And there you have it. It is unsuccessful, so I have to type in user and my new password. So simple things like this are going to stop what happened to Brandon Coin, which is unfortunate, man, that somebody did this to his rigs, but they were able to go from rig to rig to rig to rig on his whole farm because he didn't have any of the passwords changed. So it was very easy for somebody to come in and just be malicious on somebody else's stuff, you know what I'm saying? So remember in this crypto mining area that we're in right now, it is up to us to protect ourselves, not to assume that HiveOS will protect us, not to assume any of these mining softwares are going to protect us. We need to be vigilant. We need to make sure that we are the most secure because nobody else is going to do it. So that's it for today, guys. I kept the video pretty short, pretty sweet. I wanted just to get some information out there to everybody maybe you guys do or do not know this command maybe you did maybe this was pointless maybe for some of you new miners you had no idea that this even existed out there so do this to all your rigs change the password from one protect your guys self so this way people can't manipulate your flight sheets and your farm so anyways guys this is the money king giving you the most hashes 
and I'll see you next time.